Hey, good morning, everybody. Good morning, everyone. Welcome to our final day of going through the book Unleashed and Anointed for Business. Tomorrow starts a brand new series. We're excited. Wow, we've gone through 30 of these. 30 chapters. 30 chapters, 30 days of Facebook Live Unleashed and Anointed for Business, for Kingdom Business. And um, for those of you who have been following along and you don't yet have the book and you want it, you can find it at stacywallace.com forward slash unleashed. And you can also find it on M Women. And all the proceeds of the book go to M Women and the uh, outreaches that we have through the organization. Speaking of which, hola, everybody coming in. <clears throat> Ernesto and Lacey and Nisi. And good morning, everyone. Hola, como estas, mi amigos? <laughs> Just because it's Ernesto. Yeah, there you go. <laughs> I feel the need. Anyhow, I saw some great properties yesterday. We really, today I'm going to view some other women's homes and we've been looking at crisis pregnancy centers. Christina Willis, I'm excited. She's our outreach director for M Women and she's got us set up with some great places today. And it's expanding, it's growing. We love what God is doing and the outreach that we're able to make into the community. And today is an amazing topic because we're talking about naked. I was gonna act, I said, can we actually be naked on it and like just have towels? I'm more of the conservative one in the family. <laughs> I said, no. <laughs> he boo-hooed that. I was like, we could put towels on our head. And people could think we're naked. <laughs> I said, we could kneel down like this and like just show our shoulders. And he goes, yeah, we could do that, <laughs> but no. But no. <laughs> so just imagine what this show would be like if I had Noah Larry. <laughs> Larry little, anchors me. It could be a little saucy. <laughs> saucy. Well, good morning, everyone. Naked and unashamed. Literally, we're going to talk to you about an experience with extreme nakedness that radically shifted our life and uh, how God uses. The, actually, this is the last chapter. So this is all about it's called Go and Grow is the title of the chapter. But, you know, we don't want you just sitting watching these every day. We don't want you just going to church on Sundays. Like we all go to church on Sundays, on Wednesdays. We want you to know that everything that we do is to get you to get into the word of God and to go out there and be disciples. If you need a mentor to take you out into the marketplace and you live anywhere near us, uh, we will take you out personally into the malls, into the grocery stores. We will show you how very, very simple this is just to allow the Holy Spirit to use you in these places. And you'd be surprised how many people are desperately needing prayer, needing help, and that uh, you can become the hands and feet of Jesus. Yeah, let me, let me kick it off by reading the first paragraph of the last chapter, Go and Grow. To be unleashed and anointed for kingdom business means that you, like Jesus, fully embrace your calling on earth to be all that God has destined you to be as king, priest, and prophet. It means that you say yes to being a reflection of, and conduit of God's anointing and authority in the marketplace and the world around you. We started off the whole book with the story about how God asked us to say yes. Mm -hmm. In 2017, we were going strong and building businesses, and then God asked us, what will you give up? What would you sacrifice to be my voices, my mouthpieces, my conduits of change? Will you say yes to sacrificing your life, your time, your talents, your resources? And we said yes. At any cost, we said we will do what you've called us to do. We'll put everything up for sale. We'll put our money, our finances, everything towards the poor, the widows, the orphans. We will become 100% focused on your kingdom. And it changed everything that's now about 18 months later mm -hmm. for six months we're a little difficult hyperventilating what are we going to do what are we going to do what are we going to do are we crazy uh, but god just shows up every single month doing so many amazing things now it's every week we look back over a week and we're like can you believe that just happened can you believe those people just got saved can you believe that experience just happened Go God. And to be a part of the God life means that you've grown up. You're no longer about me, 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 me. You know, the opposite, everything that we do, EM Nation, which the website's launching mm -hmm. today, so stay tuned. <clears throat> EM Nation, which stands for, stands for empowering nations with the truth of God's word. EM Women, which is empowering women with the truth of God's word. And Impact, E-M-P-A-C-T, is our men's network. All of those are about empowerment. You can't empower yourself. In fact, true empowerment only comes 
from the Holy Spirit. Mm -hmm. But what is the opposite of EM? What is the opposite of EM? ME. <laughs> <laughs> that means That means you're focusing on yourself yes, and not on see, others. You get it. I know, I, just... I totally got that. That was not planned or rehearsed. Clearly. I'm like, where is she going with this one? <laughs> <laughs> So yes, it's not about you or it's not about me. It's about everybody around yeah, us. Yeah. And I'm, so we go into these settings, like, oh, but I'm going through this and I'm going through this and you don't understand yeah. what I've been through and me, 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 me. And suddenly when the power of the Holy, that was Peter, yes. James, John, all mm -hmm. the disciples, suddenly when the power of the Holy Spirit comes upon you, you become empowered to go. It's amazing when you stop focusing on yourself and start focusing on others, how much joy that brings you. You know, it reminds me of, uh, this is the story we want to tell about naked and unashamed, like literally naked. So I am flying back from one of our major events. Mm -hmm. And at these events, this isn't the ministry events. This is a business event. I was brought in to be speaker, singer, MC kind of person on stage. And my flight and my stage time were so close together that they had to just come bring the car and I got into the car and drove as fast as possible to the airport. So I'm still dressed in my stage suit. And I got my, all I do is usually carry when I do those overnight stays, I just carry a carry on. And so I, I get into the airport, check in, get on my flight. And my thought is I have a layover. So I'll, when I get to the layover city, I'll just put on some workout clothes I've got in my bag and I'll be more comfortable. Meanwhile, I'm in four inch hills, right? Running through the airport, trying to get there on time. And so I get to my layover, which I think is Chicago. And I go to make sure that my flight is on time, get to my gate. And as I get to my gate, I thought I'm going to go to the restroom. So as I'm walking down the corridor to get to the restroom, all of a sudden there's this massive panic. And it was kind of scary because at an airport, when people start screaming, you, you yeah. kind of, Ugh! so this woman is screaming and running down the corridor, butt naked. Like I'm talking not a stitch from head to toe of anything on her body, nothing in her hands, not panties, not bra, not nothing. She was naked, screaming and yelling and running, help me, help me. And I'm walking down the corridor and the woman runs right. I'm talking face, could have run around me, could have gone to the left or right. Everybody else is backing up. She runs right to me and throws herself down at my feet and says, oh God, oh God, save me. Now in that moment, I have to tell you, I wasn't thinking, oh, she sees the God in me. Mm -hmm. All I could think, but that is what she was doing. Of all the thousands of people that were in that corridor, she dropped at my feet. Now a lot of people would have just looked around and said, honey, you need to get help. Or they would have backed up. But in that minute, because I had grown up in the spirit, because God had changed me, had told me, Stacy, I'm going to use you to do extraordinary things in people's lives. It didn't shock me that a woman would come to me. So immediately I said, honey, get up, get up. And I put my arms around her and I'm wrapped around her naked body and I'm pressing her into me so that all people see is her backside. And I said, God's heard your cry, let's walk together. And she said, God, help me, help me, please help me. And I've got her wrapped around. About that time, a man came, had taken off his shirt. He had a t-shirt on underneath it and he put it behind her. So now I'm asking her, let's just walk together to the bathroom. God's got you, God loves you. You're with the right person, I'm gonna help you. So we walk all the way back to the women's bathroom and I proceed to realize that she has taken all of her clothes off in the bathroom she has stuffed all of her stuff down the toilet or into the trash can. And I said to her, I said, first off, God loves you right where you're at. And she's crying and she's crying. And I said, I want to help you. How can I help you? And so I said, first, before you answer, let me pray. So I prayed for her. God, I just thank you. You know the circumstance right now. But God, I just ask you for a spirit of love and mercy to cover whatever's happening. And in that moment, it was just like an oozing. I could feel the oozing of God's love all over her, just pouring through me. And when she began to tell me the story, basically she had two deaths in her family, very close. One was a sister and, and one was her father. And she was on her way on the plane to a wedding of her daughter. So she had massive stress going on. She had been taking some antidepressants and she was drinking on the plane. Mm. She gets to the airport and just basically has a meltdown. 
um, a nervous breakdown. So we, pr I pray for her. I give her the clothes I was going to put on my back. I give them to her. I happen to have them in my, my carry, on. carry on. How perfect is that of God? And get her clothed up. End up, thank God the police didn't come and take tackle her because when we walked out, she was dressed normal. And her family, a very, very normal family, getting ready to go to a wedding, watched the whole thing go on. Mm -hmm. And when I walked out, I said, let's not make a big deal about this, but let's get your mom some help. Mm -hmm. And so we were able to call a local pastor where she lived. The thing about this is when you grow or you go and grow, when you grow and go, what happens is you get to a place where you realize the world is desperate yes. and needs you. Yes. And it could be the most extreme. So it could be something like at Walmart and you're just standing there. Hey, may, you mind if I pray for you? Or it could be something extraordinary where somebody's in a car accident and you're the first person on the scene and God says, go make sure that they know me. And so you're the first person on the scene. It could be something as extraordinary as being in an airport and somebody drops right down the bottom naked, booty naked, <laughs> right, right at your feet. Well, when we got all of it resolved, taken care of, made sure she had uh, accountability and help where she was going, I go back to my gate. And as you can imagine, the people there are like, <laughs> and they were laughing. They go, one guy goes, what the H was that all about? <laughs> and I looked at him and I said, you know, on any given day, that could have been us, mm -hmm. but the grace of God. How many times have you thought, I'm done, I'm over? I said, she just acted upon what she felt. And I said, I just appreciate you guys praying for her. That's a woman that needs a lot of help and a lot of care. It just silenced everybody. Everybody's ooh, ah, gawking. And really just, again, a little bit more spread saying, God loves that woman and God loves you sitting right there waiting on your plane you're not much different than her. And that's really the point of this book. It's not about a business book. It's not about sales. It's not about marketing. It's about knowing God, but more than that, making God known. It's yeah. not just knowing about Jesus. It's knowing him and becoming his hands and feet to the world around you. It reminds me of an analogy. You know, there's a, there's a, an analogy that, that we've used before and that's about a bicycle. You know, you can know all about your bicycle. You can know about the spokes. Mm -hmm. You can know everything about your tires. You can know all the principles around how the bicycle was made, but it's useless unless you actually get on it and actually do something with it. If you go out and, and apply your knowledge and, mm -hmm. and practice riding Experience your bicycle. Experience the bike. Experience the bike. And so that's the same thing that we're talking about today. Everything that we've talked about with Unleashed and Anointed for Business is that, you know, it's not just about going to church on Sunday, although that's very important. It's not just about, um, you know, reading the book or even watching these Facebook lives. Mm -hmm. It's about taking what you've learned and going out and experiencing it, going out and practicing it in the marketplace. If we were to ask most people in the church today, uh, have you led people to the Lord and have you prayed for them? Have they repented and been baptized? I would say less than 1% or less than one-tenth of 1% 1 would say yes. Most people come in here. They go to a service to listen to someone else's ideologies put on them, which is okay, but that is, that is like sucking from the nanny, mm -hmm. the titty of someone else. God didn't call you to be a baby. That's what Paul was saying in Corinthians. He, he, he's called you to grow up. And when you grow up, that means that you step out and you become the voice of God to others. It's about you. It's not about some superstar pastor or evangelist or person on Facebook with lots of followers. Every one of them, if they have put themselves in a place of hierarchy, then that's not the way God wanted it. It, it, it happens because we are just like the Old Testament. We want a king, right? We want people to lead us. We want to follow somebody. But the truth is you should be following Christ and you should be the beautiful light shining in the midst of darkness. God wants you to go into all the world, preach the gospel. So here's what Larry and I want to do for you. Number one, if you don't know Jesus, let us pray for you today before we go or private message us if you've never repented and been baptized. We wanna make sure that that happens. In fact, we wanna be a part of it. Even if it is today where you're gonna find a creek or a swimming pool or a hot tub, we wanna be a part of that. Whether you're in India or Africa or, or Canada or the United States or Australia, 
That's the beautiful thing about FaceTime. That's the beautiful thing about Zoom videos. We can be anywhere in the world and walk you through that process with a leader of faith. We love that. If you're here locally and you say, you know, not only do I want that, maybe, maybe you have never experienced what it feels like to be baptized and filled with the Holy Spirit. There is an ex a supernatural exchange that takes place when you go in. It's not just an, a symbol. It's not just an idea. It's just not, not a testimony of your faith. It is a physical uh, and spiritual exchange that takes place. There's been a lot of people that experienced it and they, it, they cheered and they were excited, but there was no change that took place. Mm -hmm. We want to experience that. We want to see you experience that with change, with the power of the Holy Spirit to where things start to happen, where life becomes different. And then finally, if you've never gone out and, you know, in the scripture, it says, and these signs and wonders will follow them that believe. They will lay hands on the sick. They will recover. They'll cast out demons. If you've never prayed for other people, laid hands on the sick. If you've never cast out demons, if you've never, you know, some pastors say, well, that's not for everybody. Well, the Bible begs to differ. The Bible says all them that believe. That's you. That's me. That means it's not about hierarchy anymore. It's not about uh, the, the top of the food chain like the Old Testament. It is about every believer doing their part, growing up and going out and being the hands and feet of Jesus. So if, if that's you and you say, I want to do that, if you live in the Dallas area or around us here, or even if you're in Kansas or, or maybe up in Oklahoma or anywhere, I mean, really anywhere that you can get to us, we want to take you out and show you what this life looks like. We want to personally decide. That's why even tonight, the ladies that are coming to the M Women groups and the new ones, we're getting ready to start an M Women group online. It is not about coming into these groups. It's about praying for each other. It's about practicing laying when somebody's sick. Sally, you pray for Sue, right? Not Stacy pray for Sue, but Sally pray for Sue because it's practicing what you're going to be doing out there in the marketplace. Yeah, that's good. And, and it's just exercising is taking at that bike out there and actually jumping on it and just experiencing it for yourself. And that's so important. You just got to get out there and do it. And it's, it's not about being me, me, me. Right. Well, what will somebody think about me? I can't do that because they might reject me. It's yeah. about being empowered to go. Let's leave them with this final scripture. And this really is the scripture of unleashed and anointed for kingdom business. And why we say kingdom business, that doesn't mean business realm as we know it. It means authority. Right. It means power, dominion, operating in kingdom, heavenly dominion on earth as it is in heaven. It means bringing heaven down right there in your cubicle, right there at your cash register, right there in your home. The scripture that we want to leave you with is Matthew 5, 14, and I'm going to read it out of the Message Bible because it's so good. It says, you're here to be light, bringing out the God colors in the world. God is not a secret to be kept. No, we're going public with this thing, as public as a city on a hill. If I make you light bearers, don't you think I'm going to, you think I'm going to hide you under a bucket? No, <laughs> do you? I'm putting you on a light stand. Now that I've put you there on a hilltop, on a light stand, shine, baby, shine. I added that baby part. <laughs> shine. Keep open house. What does that mean? Be generous with your life. By opening up to others, you'll prompt people to open up to God, this generous Father in heaven. When you honor what matters most to God, God then begins to honor what matters most to you. It's an amazing supernatural exchange. You be God's light. Watch how he shines his light on your business, on your family. Watch how you begin to see the inner action between your children. And a. we're going to talk about something tomorrow that happened yesterday to my daughter that is absolutely phenomenal. It's phenomenal. It was a natural circumstance. But when our family, our children have natural accidents or circumstances, how God steps in and does supernatural things. Yeah, so good. And you'll be amazed how when you do what Stacey's talking about, if you do what we're talking about, the ripple effect that takes place, not only in your own life, but in the lives of people around mm -hmm. you, and you'll be amazed about how people's attitudes will change, how people's outlooks on life will change, how people's destinies will change just because you decided to say yes. If you've missed any of these uh, series that we've gone through, the 30 chapters of Unleashed and Anointed, first off, you can get the book, Larry said that, at 
either one of our websites or you can go to Amazon. Um, you can also listen to all these podcasts. Mm -hmm. So every one of these videos, you can go back and you can listen to the vlogs on stacywallace.com forward slash podcast. I was actually going to say YouTube, but you can do that as well. <laughs> So you can go to the podcast, stacywallace.com forward slash how you hear the podcast to watch the vlogs or the videos, go to youtube.com forward slash Stacey Wallace. Yes. Actually, you can go to Stacey Wallace. It's all on there. What we're doing is we're making this available. If you'll share this, if you'll like it, we want to make this message known. We, we recognize that even in this season where we've been flagged by Facebook, we can't uh, promote out. You can promote out for us. You can do watch parties while we're doing our videos. You can help us get the word out. What we can assure you is we're going to stick to the word of God. We're going to make the word of God known, empowering nations with the truth of God's word. Yeah. So we appreciate you guys watching every day and uh, please do us a favor, like this video, comment, leave us a comment because we always love hearing from you guys and then also share. Uh, we really appreciate you sharing it with your friends. Good. Let's pray. Father, we just thank you, God, for this day, and we're so grateful, Father, for this entire series that we've gone through. We thank you, for, Father, for everybody who's followed along with us and for everybody who's watching today. God, I pray as they start their week, Lord, that they look for you and look for ways that they can be the hands and feet of you out in the marketplace. And we thank you, God, that each and every one of the people um, find blessings through the work that they do that uh, the work that you do through them, and God, that they make Jesus big throughout all the earth. In Jesus' name we pray, amen. Amen. All right, we look forward to connecting with you. Make sure you private message us if you want to be baptized, if you want to be able to go out and experience this live, go and grow. We love you. Peace out, everybody. Bye-bye. <laughs>